So here's a problem with, we'll say, normal cases, is that they, they're pretty bulky. They add a bit of distance between your hands and the actual iPhone, which has a pretty svelte design from our perspective. And with thin and minimalist cases, you get to keep a more natural feel to your iPhone, but you lose out on protection. The thinner the case, the less protective it is. For this video, we measured every single case edge that we had. We've got something like 200-ish uh, iPhone 13 cases, and every single case that was two millimeters or thinner, uh, we put in a pile and then we created a top 10. So we'll cover those top 10s, as well as the honorable mentions, as well as the non-honorable mentions, because some of these cases, especially the thin ones, they are just so terrible. Anyways, let's get this party started. Pink? Tom Morello. Huh. If you appreciate what we're about to do, get your stuff through our links. We're an unsponsored channel producing unsponsored reviews. Roll the top 10. Yay! The Mag Easy case is the thinnest case in this list. The case is made from aramid fiber and snaps onto the iPhone. In general, we're not big fans of the snap-on style of case, but when it comes to thin cases, only a thin TPU case would be thinner. Now, when it comes to aramid carbon fiber cases, there's a lot of different brands out there that all sell their very bad products at a premium price under the pretense that Kevlar is a premium finish. Most brands will just glue a strap of aramid and call it a premium case. Not the stuff from Pataka. The Mag Easy case is aramid all over. There's a soft rubber coating on the case, so it handles quite well, though fingerprinting will become evident every once in a while. The biggest downside of this product is the lack of protection. If you put the case face down, it's the screen protector that's making all the contact, not the case edge. Given that we've noticed our iPhone spending a lot more time face down because of MagSafe, this might be a deal breaker for some people. The standout feature for us is the bevel on the back edge of the Mag Easy case too. Most cases we use to have rounded corners, so having a different hand feel because of that bevel really stood out for us. Hand feel? Yeah, it's like, it's like mouth feel for food. Like, don't you think about how the food feels in your mouth? <laughs> I guess. What are you talking about though? Like how this feels, the texture of it, or? Oh, I'm pretty impressed by the corners. Yeah. Next up is the encased thin armor. The encased thin armor looks like a simple TPU cover. But the only reason it breaks the top 10 is that the case is slightly more rigid, which means it will stay on your iPhone better than other TPU cases, especially the clear ones. The handling of the case is average as the finish of the case is a bit slick when compared to other black TPU cases in this video. Buttons feel nice, so some may find the lack of chamfering on the cutouts a little annoying. The thin armor provides minimal clearance for an iPhone with a screen protector on it. The Skyfall by Caseology is one of the few clear thin cases that we recommend. It did not make it into the top 10 clear case video because of the lower protection score but as a thin clear case it's actually quite good. The standout feature of the Skyfall is the handling. There are grip strips along the edge of the case that helps with the iPhone in your hand. The strips are quite noticeable and aren't as slick as the grip on one of our favorite clear cases, the Catalyst Influence. The Skyfall comes in several different colors and we consider it a double layered case as the back is definitely made from a piece of fingerprinty polycarbonate. The camera cutout is tall enough to heat the lens off a flat surface and the back is raised slightly to reduce the amount of back scratching. So what's the first thing that comes to your mind with the word Skyfall? 007. Face it all together, let it skyfall. <laughs> Number seven goes to the smartest <laughs> Grip Monk. When it comes to decent cases at a decent price, you can't go wrong with the cases from Grip Monk. For us, the most attractive feature about this product is that it's a MagSafe compatible product that only costs 15 bucks. And for this steal of a deal, you get a case that handles well because of the grippy texture along the entire edge of the case. And the cherry on top of that Sunday are the subtle bumps for your fingers, which adds to the handling for the iPhone. The buttons are acceptable and unlike the encased thin armor, the cutouts are chamfered so there are no sharp edges. The Grip Monk isn't as rigid as other cases as it's only a single layered TPU case. So the protection it offers isn't as high. So when it comes to unhonorable mention products, the first actually goes to the Gear 4 Havana. <laughs> like this, this case is so bad, especially like the thing like this case edge is incredibly sharp. And if you put your iPhone in it, the corners actually split. Like it's just, <laughs> Another unhonorable mention are any of the ultra thin cases from Bear, Peel, and Totally. 50 bucks for a non-branded thin piece of plastic that scratches easily. Like it's brutal, it's 50 bucks. Like for whatever reason, I bought one from Bear and I paid close to 70 US dollars for it. And it's just like so bad. Why? Like this is literally nothing. Yeah, you know, that's like 40, 50 bucks. Like it's brutal. 
But honestly, I do enjoy watching those ads on Facebook and Instagram because it's like, the thinner the case, the slower the hand movement is to like signify, you know, worthiness. Now, there are a few cases in our top 10 list that I think are actually gonna swap out quite a bit. I've got three more shipment of cases. It's about $1,000 worth of products that have been stuck in transit for about three weeks. Uh, so, so all the stuff coming in from Asia, I, I have no idea when it's gonna come. So I've got like thin cases from Urban Armor Gear. All my peel stuff is stuck um, in shipping and a bunch of other like no-name brands. So do check out the pinned comments whenever those comes. We'll kind of throw them into the top 10 list just to kind of see how they make it. There's a 100% chance that peel's not gonna make the top list so if you're thinking about getting peel stuff don't i don't even know why i go buy their stuff it's just every single year i just have to go do it reviewer not influencer <laughs> all right number six goes to the cotabi lucid clear the lucid clear is the least protective case in this video from our perspective it's also the poorest handling case in the list so why is it in the top 10 well because it's the closest you're going to get to a naked iPhone feeling while offering a bit of protection. We're not a fan of clear cases who use a lot of clear wet bar of soap handling polycarbonate, but the Lucid, because it's so thin, it works because it doesn't get in the way. We prefer the feel of Lucid Clear's finish to other clear TPU and matte covers. The Lucid Clear feels like a better quality product. It's very solid, very rigid. But again, we're not big fans of this snap-on style of case, but if you are, well, get this one because Cotby nailed it. However, the case is still a fingerprint magnet and will slide around easily like an air hockey but that's the best wet bar soap handling case that we found in our giant collection of iPhone 13 cases. The Caseology Vault is the best non-MagSafe thin case that we've used. The finish on this case is top notch and the textured edges just adds to the great handling. The buttons work well and the cutouts aren't that sharp. One of the things we noticed with the buttons is that it doesn't quite follow the shape of the iPhone's buttons. The Vault has buttons that are quite rounded and it's noticeable in a good way. Now the Vault is just a TPU cover, so it's going to come off easier during a face first drop. The Vault is also gonna offer a minimal amount of clearance for the iPhone with a screen protector installed. The Edge also has a spot for wrist straps, which is something we'd hesitate to do given how much give the TPU has. We're quite certain this case is called the Bear Armor, but all the other products we bought from Bear didn't have the word Bear on the product box. It's the Bear Naked, the Bear Naked EX, but this thing is called the Bear Bear Armor. Now remember in one of the clear videos, we talked about the uh, Color Brick by Caseology and saying that I kind of wish they made it for the uh, iPhone 13s. They don't, um, but Bear decided to go order stuff from that generic iPhone case factory. So, you know, they call dibs on the design. <laughs> well, we're happy to announce that the Bear Bear Armor is exactly the same case, but it comes with MagSafe. The Bear Bear Armor has a soft rubber coating all over the case, which helps with the handling. And well, it's got floating metallic buttons. So the buttons retain the click of the iPhone, which is something we appreciate. One thing that we noticed was that the magnets on the MagSafe Air were stronger than the average case. The last pro for this product is the wrist strap attachment point. Unlike the case all Vault, this case doesn't stretch when you pull on it. Like all the other thin cases that we've seen, the clearance for your screen protector on your iPhone is minimal. Barely a credit card's worth of thickness from our perspective. The frosted soft rubber coating is also very, very terrible for fingerprints and scratching. Now before we get to the top three, here are the honorable mentions. For this top 10 video, we actually excluded cases that we've already put into other top 10 videos, namely the Magbag case and the Apple silicone case, not the leather case. The MagBag case, this is incredibly thin and incredibly useful. It works very well with both MagSafe and MagBag's own mounting systems. So like stuff like that's just awesome. The Apple silicone case is just a good thin case. If you're wondering what the difference is between Apple silicone case and other brands or fakes, check that video out. If you're finding this review useful, be sure to get all of your slim cases through our Amazon links. You can also support us through Patreon, which I now know I'm saying wrong, and to the person in the comments who pointed it out, that's not my fault because I didn't know what Patreon was until Aaron said it. So I was saying it how he said it, Patreon. and as we all know, Aaron doesn't know how to pronounce words properly. Patreon. No, it's like Patreon. Patreon. No, Patreon. I'm saying the exact same thing, Patreon. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyway, we'll be honest with you, we completely overlooked the MagEasy Pro case from Pataka. It was tucked away with our normal Pataka cases as Aaron thought it was an air case. This MagEasy Pro case is awesome. 
The iteration of the Pro case isn't as tough as Pataka's previous versions, but we think this is the best Pro version to date because it feels tough enough to take a few hits without looking too bulky. And when it comes to carbon fiber products, there are like handfuls of companies, and most of them just produce really subpar products, but they charge a premium price. A lot of them just like rough cut pieces of carbon fiber and they just kind of glue them to really cheap cases, but then they charge it at a very significant markup. And if you sign up on their email list, you just get bombarded by these stupid emails for a constant discount. Shoddy case fabricators like SCF is just so bad for that. Now I know some of you might be thinking why later case isn't in this video and their stuff is better than the average uh, carbon fiber case, but I didn't buy the iPhone 13 version because the iPhone 12 version that I ordered still hasn't shown up. It's been over a year. I've contacted customer service twice. I don't know where it is. With Pataka, it looks like they're actually doing their own thing by actually designing their own cases and using higher quality carbon fiber. The iPhone handles well in the Mag Easy Pro case. Buttons are easy to use and the front edge has a nice chamfer to it. The standout design feature from our perspective is the camera bump. It's got a good nice grade to the corners of the cutout and running your finger over the camera area feels different. Most camera areas feel like an addition to the case, whereas the Pataka camera feels like an extension of the case. Now, like every other soft rubber coated product that we're reviewing, fingerprinting and scratching will be an issue. Now, if you're looking for a no frills TPU cover for your iPhone, look no further than the Spigen Mag Armor. This case looks very similar to the Encase Thin Armor with the only difference is well, the addition of the MagSafe magnets on the back. There's a lot going on with this simple TPU case. There's a grip strip along the edges of the case followed by an area of smooth TPU and then another edge that leads to a series of diagonal grooves cut across the entire back of the case. The back and edges of the case have a matte finish to them. But despite all of this, none of the textures on this case stand out from a handling perspective. The lack of standout texture is what keeps this case from being in the top spots. Another neat feature of this product is that the edges are rounder than most cases in this video, which kind of makes the armor mag armor almost a throwback to the iPhone 11. Now being in TPU case, the edges of the case are quite pliable and the finish of the case will show mild scratching. It's almost like a patina of sorts. But unlike the ultra hybrid, which we talked about a few weeks ago, this this case is simple and it works, so there's really not much else to say about it. All right, on to the top case, which is going to be the most limitless 4.0. What? <laughs> so, com like, actually so confused. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm just kind of curious how many viewers just assumed that was going to be the case, because everybody thinks we're on the take from like, Mouse, I but we're not. I filmed everything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Cotabi Sheath. The Cotabi Sheath has been one of Aaron's go-to cases in the last while. The standout feature is the texture on the case. It's everywhere and it just works. We mean everywhere. It's even on the top of the buttons. The iPhone feels incredibly safe in our hands with the Cotabi Sheath and we have no complaints from an iPhone handling perspective. Unlike the Meg Armor, the sheath fits tightly around the iPhone which adds to the protection of the device. Cotabi does claim that the sheath has two feet of draw protection which is crazy given how thin the case is. Is it over the top marketing fluff? Maybe, maybe not. The only complaint we have about the sheath is that the corners of the case will show wear and tear a bit over time. Again, hand feel of this case is top notch. It honestly is the perfect amount of texture without being annoying um, or like makes my hands feel weird. And there's very little give along the edges, which is really surprising coming from a case that is less than two millimeters thick. So. I think the first time I saw this case was for the iPhone 12. We had that like green one. I loved that color. I, it looks really cool with the texture and it's just, it works and it's thin and it's nice. Like it doesn't add all these crazy things to your phone. I like it. Not like the Havana. <laughs> so that's all we got for this video. Again, if you found it useful, get your stuff through our Amazon links. Questions, comments, leave them down there. If there's, again, check out the pinned comment because we still got so much stuff coming. It just didn't show up on time and I have no idea when it's gonna show up. So what else can I do? You can support us through Patreon, which I now know how to say. Um, you can hit like, subscribe to our channel, comment you already said that i think that's it thanks for watching